good morning afternoon or evening wherever and whenever you are fudge dice roll here and we are back on the farm in iowa plains guys it is a rainy march day and we are looking to uh we're looking to make ourselves a purchase over winter was uh there's a lot of stuff going on a lot of phone calls made a lot of uh a lot of work done uh mostly around keeping the animals uh fed and happy but uh yeah what we're gonna do is uh i thought it over and i'm gonna go ahead and take out a partial loan to cover the cost of uh this field here the field that is just north of our of our wheat here i really want to plant some potatoes here so that we can have a root crop to give to the pigs so uh that is going to be the plan uh this is owned by clifford powell you might have known the name from in the past when we've helped him with doing some uh helped him doing some harvesting after he was having some combine issues and other stuff like that and so uh he's agreed to sell us this field and even at a little bit of a discount and i know uh you know we made a good bit of money selling bales and stuff over winter of silage uh but this field still comes out to a hundred and five thousand dollars to purchase the uh to purchase the, the property and we have been uh, from our current loan that we had taken out to kind of uh, you know get everything up up and operational, uh, we're paying like seven grand a month, uh, getting things repaid over this next uh, this next three years. So I'm going to take out another loan to help cover that uh, field purchase, and then between the crops, the sale of crops, we should have a really good return on investment, especially when we sell all those soybeans um, or a good portion of the soybeans. And so uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out a loan. I'm going to say for about $80,000. And I think that that will be over a period of, I'm going to say, five years to pay that back. And I think that sounds pretty fair. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take out that $80,000 loan. And that is going to help us to go ahead and buy. And so let's see, actually, how much more loan can we take out? We can take out nearly a million dollars of loan if we really wanted to. I don't want to put that much line of credit because that's putting the farm and all of my equipment up as collateral. And I I just can't do that. Um, so real quick here, we'll go ahead and purchase the plot of land. Or actually, can we do it this way? Is it cheaper to do it that way? Hold on. Ah, no. <laughs> ah. Ian. Uh, this is all the land that I already own. Team field nine. There's no way that's right. Mm -hmm. It's field nine, but it's plot 14. It's only three acres, yeah. Okay, well, we'll just go ahead and buy it through this menu. That's fine. Uh, we did get a little bit of a reduction from Cliff since we had helped him out before, so we will buy this land for 105k, and this is now our property. And so I guess the only other thing that needs to happen is we need to have uh, we need to have the ag team come out here. Ooh, let's not get soaking wet with rain. We need to have. Uh, the ag guys come out run soil samples for us i think we'll probably go ahead and worry about that uh then we'll go ahead and worry about that later when it's not raining we'll, we'll actually we'll head back to the farm now we'll get on the horn with those guys and uh we'll go from there so i will be back here in a couple of hours when hopefully the rain subsides and we can kind of get some numbers in on uh, soil data and what have you. I actually want to do the same thing for field seven. So we're going to go ahead and probably have them come out and handle both of the fields for us. All right. So we had a lot of moving parts uh, this morning, but the rain has let up. And uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and try to plant uh potatoes today if we can uh we were able to get in touch with the uh the ag department with the chemistry department and they are gonna go ahead and send out some people to 
do soil samples field seven and as well as uh the new field nine that we just got and we are going to load up our potato planter here and we're going to get out there and uh seed some seed potatoes in i am pretty pumped to do that now we did have to uh we did have to lease this piece of equipment through the uh through the dealership here but that's fine we'll be able to get this paid off relatively quickly so all right now hopefully this doesn't take a whole ton of potatoes to get that field planted but we'll find out won't we there's a few other working parts here uh we let our we actually go ahead here and look at our tablet we actually let our uh let our milk kind of stockpile and so i need to actually contact uh the dairy and have them send out one of their larger milk trucks uh, i can cart about five uh thousand liters myself but i don't want to be making all these tricks back and forth so i'm just going to have them send one of their uh tankers out to come pick up milk for us and uh, our chickens are pretty much maxed out right now and oh looks like according to this uh the sensor in their their feed bin here uh, i actually am going to need to feed these guys so we're gonna get on that. Uh, we're gonna get this out to the field. We're gonna get this out to the uh, to the field nine to get it ready for planting potatoes. And then we're gonna need to do a, a few other things to the soil out there. Uh, we're probably going to need to come out and spread some fertilizer. I'm really, really debating on picking up a, uh, picking up some sort of a manure spreader or something. We have so much manure in stockpile right now, and uh, as well as slurry, I really feel like it would be very beneficial for us to use natural fertilizer out there for the potatoes. So I'm thinking I might look into a manure spreader and uh, because we should get a really good return on uh, on all of that milk that we have from the cows, so. I'm just going to get this up here to the field and we're going to start working on getting potatoes planted. And here we are. So this field over to the left is our new field. And as you can see, our wheat is over here, nice and planted, ready to go. And then down over here, we actually have oil seed radish uh, down as a cover crop. So, and our wheat should be coming in quite nicely. So yeah, everything's looking good with the wheat. The wheat's growing nicely, uh, good nitrogen. pH could be a little bit better, but I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna make a few calls, have them come out, and then we're gonna go ahead and start getting this planted out. So I will see you guys here in a little bit. Okay, so uh, a few hours have gone by and we had some really good sales. So we, we sold a bunch of our uh, farmer's market goods, the farmer's market, they came and picked that up and we got really, really good sales on milk. Uh, so we ended up doing pretty good for ourselves. We're sitting at about uh, $231,195 and I am more than happy with that. I might even look at... Uh, I might even look at just trying to go ahead and pay that loan out. Uh, so we're here. We're going to go ahead and start planting these potatoes in this field. Uh, this is my first time ever planting the potates. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, I'm not quite sure what to expect yet from planting potatoes. Uh, I do suspect, though, that we are going to run out of seed relatively quickly. It's what it looks like to me. All right, I'm um, getting my uh, getting my 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 track stuff set up here. So we can get a good planting. We stay on line, stay in row here. Oh boy. Yeah, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a little bit of a time consuming process, but that's fine. We'll go ahead and, uh, we'll go ahead and time lapse it. Why, why don't we? We got plenty of charge on the drone right now, so might as well.
Okay, well, it's looking like we're going to be a little bit short on uh, on the needed seed potatoes in order to finish the field. So I'm probably going to have to make myself uh, a little trip down to the supply store so that we can go ahead and uh, purchase some more potatoes. But other than that, I mean, it was uh, smooth. I mean, we had to go down there already once to pick up more seed because uh, two 2,000 liters was not enough. Um, and we can go ahead and we'll be able to look at uh, our numbers on the field as far as how much money uh, and resources we've invested. I definitely think, though, that we will be looking into getting our uh, manure spreader, though. That is going to be the play, I believe, because we have so much manure, we should actually be able to fertilize that entire field with it. I think we could probably get away with two bags of seed. Uh, if nothing else, we'll be able to use that other one for planting corn. So... So yeah, I think that'll be good. Um, we're gonna go ahead get that seed bought up and then we will we'll be back next uh, we'll be back later on in the month to get a few more things done uh, maybe even next month we're not quite sure yet or I'm not quite sure yet rather <laughs> but uh but yeah we're, we're we're doing pretty good we're getting things figured out squared away potatoes uh, root crops in general are very new to me so I'm gonna have a little bit of research I need to do um i'm really strong just just you know believe it <laughs> those are strapped down all right yeah we're gonna go ahead and get this sucker topped up and i will catch you guys a little bit later on and uh yeah 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 Let's say yeah a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I'll catch you guys a little bit later. All right. So uh, we got that field finished with the potatoes, and it looks like our holding out has paid off because Dave at the dealership just called me to let me know that somebody decided to trade in their Venus, uh slurry spreader. So it doesn't have a, dis a distributor on it, but it does have, uh, it is on a, a nice little sale and we could pick it up and a distributor. So I am pretty pumped about that. And I believe that, that is what I'm going to go do. Um, I have a bunch of eggs to run into town and sell. Uh, but yeah, I definitely will be definitely going to pick this up. That is gonna be absolutely awesome. We'll be able to use that uh, on our on our field. Uh, we able to use that on our field uh, on all of our fields, really, as long as we still have plenty of slurry. Uh, now I just need to wait for a nice manure spreader to pop up, and that will be absolutely phenomenal. So, we go ahead, get our eggs loaded up into the truck, make our way there, and hopefully I'll be able to hook it up to the tow hitch and tow it back. If not, then we'll definitely have to head up there in uh, probably in our our larger John Deere tractor, just something that's going to be able to tow that. So I will go run some eggs into town. We'll go get that and get its uh, sprayer attachment, its distributor attachment. And then, yeah, actually, you know what? I think I will come back and pick up the, uh, well, we'll play it by ear. We'll see. If I don't have to take the John Deere out there and I can take... Uh, the, the pickup truck instead that would be preferable but we shall see okay so uh we ended up having to go get the john deere in order to bring this back the we needed the 9430 because uh there was no way that the truck was going to be able to haul just this absolute behemoth here this venus uh with the uh with the uh, Bomec sprayer system on the back of it. This thing 
is an absolute tank and then we do uh there you might be able to see it that faint yellow box is actually the john deere uh, manure sensing system and so that's going to help with the consistency of our manure uh and its distribution or our yeah it's still manure it's liquid manure uh with its uh its distribution on the field so we're going to have much more consistent uh like manure placement and that is going to help with our nitrogen levels that we have going on so yeah um this thing's an absolute monster if we unfold it here uh just look at this the the coverage is around roughly 15 meters of coverage it just we're gonna be able to do these fields so fast, we'll be able to process them so quickly. So now I'm just a little nervous because I don't wanna damage my wheat crop here. I don't think I'm going to, but real quick, break the immersion a little bit and save <laughs> because I don't wanna destroy my crop. I'm pretty sure that this is dual uh, narrow tires on here, so I shouldn't destroy anything. And I do have narrow tires on the back of the sprayer here. And it looks like we're good. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So we're going to make our way here to our potato field. This should be good. Uh, because this field is in desperate need of spraying. And here we go. Getting that manure in. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that looks good. Ah, trying to keep this thing straight is a challenge. That's the, I keep saying that I'm having second thoughts about having an articulating tractor and I definitely, I wanna look into something else that's also gonna still be able to handle everything that I'm throwing at it. So we started off with 20,000 liters of slurry here. And as you can see, that is rapidly decreasing. I wanna to try to hit as much of this field as possible. I know that I'm gonna miss a few little small sections and that's just, you know, that's just up to operator error, man. The handling is a little rough, but look at that application. We are getting really good spread here. I might even have to take this back to fill up. So getting a manure spreader is also going to be a must because uh, just, just the slurry by itself isn't gonna be enough. Now, maybe once we get pigs, um, that'll that'll change because we'll have a couple of sources of of you know a bio uh, fertilizer there man look at that we i mean we swathed essentially a third of the field in one go so let's get that spray system lifted and let's see what we're looking at as far as coverage goes nitrogen it's still a little rough so we're going to have to come back through uh we're gonna have to come back through next month i think and do a second round of uh a second round of fertilization but uh you know what i almost want to head back and refill now but i will i will rotate oh come on shouldn't be destroying any crops like that don't 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 nickel and dime me i wonder whose field that is one day it might be my field but i mean yeah, just look at this thing man just an absolute unit here we are i i can't wait I mean, this is this is always the goal for me i always want to try to be as organic as possible as uh as resourceful as possible with what i have on the farm i have cows they make manure they make slurry and why not use it for the good of my farm you know what i'm saying all right let's get this lifted back up we're gonna head back towards the farm pick up some more slurry if we take a look at our slurry sensor that we have uh, we can still see that we have 123,000 liters of slurry so i'm not worried about running out We've had a lot of time for that to build up, and that's only going to continue to increase as the side of our herd, size of our herd increases, which uh, the, the cows are very close to giving birth. Uh, it'll probably be around the June, July timeframe where we will see an addition to our 
are heard here uh that's going to be awesome to say the least and i love the fact that i'm not going to have to pay uh as frequently for expensive uh uh chemical fertilizers in order to handle my crops and next month will actually be good to get down here and start seeding corn in that is going to be awesome i'm really looking forward to getting uh field seven seeded in with corn uh really looking forward to our first big corn harvest and so yeah i think that this is a good area this is a good time my drone battery is starting to go a little bit and i think really all i have left to do is to spray this field for the for the rest of the month just regular admin things but yeah uh thank you so much for watching this episode oh watch out little bambi you gotta survive until hunting season um thank you so much for watching the episode i am so glad that you guys have been enjoying the content and i'm looking forward to continue making more and more of it for you uh yeah so i will catch you in the next one thank you so much for being here make sure to like comment and subscribe thanks to you guys uh actually now 70 percent of the viewers are no are are not subscribed it used to be 85 percent. so please please keep on you know helping me get towards that goal of a thousand subscribers it means a lot to me thank you so very much for your time uh i will catch you guys in the next episode we will be getting our corn planted and doing some other stuff around the farm and i hope that you come back and spend some time with me so i hope you have a great rest of your morning afternoon or evening wherever and whenever you are i'm fudge dice roll and i'm signing off take care